hi guys welcome back to the channel it is really good to have you back with me today hopefully you are having a good day hopefully you were able to find at least one thing in your day-to-day -day movements that you were at least able to smile about right now i am in the kitchen i picked a few ackees off the tree and I will prepare them for a freezing. Now, as you might or might not know, Aki is seasonal, but I mean, you can enjoy it during the off season period. If you freeze it, that is. I mean, frozen Aki can last up to about six months. And no, you do not have to parboil it or rub cooking oil on it for it to remain firm and tight like gum stick. You do not have to do that. As soon as you pick the ackees, you can clean them and freeze them and they will stay really nice and firm for up to six months. I mean, some people might prefer to continue rubbing a little cooking oil on it for preservation. But as you know, to each his own, we live in a free world and we all make the choice that best suits us. So always do you. Do what you believe is best for you and for your peace of mind. That right now is the most important thing. I mean, live your life for, your, for you and nobody else. You and only you can determine the life that really suits you. Yeah? I mean, although the aki is so delicious, sadly, many persons have met their demise from eating it as it is poisonous. Yes, guys, the aki is a poisonous fruit. Now, if you don't clean it properly or cook it properly, that would definitely be your exit ticket from Earth. Seriously, that is one ticket that you don't need to pay for. Guys, that is how I know that the Jamaicans are very brave and adventurous, you know. Because which other country in the world as an item that can be poisonous as part of their national dish? Seriously, guys. I have always pondered how in the juice the Jamaica select Aki as the national fruit instead of, say, Ota Eti Apple. No, sir. This really needs strong review. We want justice. Like, I mean, have you ever seriously thought about it? This needs really and truly needs serious serious intervention so yeah i guess we just have to continue to pick up the strong adventurous jamaican people yeah them are the best oh everybody they are really really a unique set of people us jamaicans right mm -hmm. i mean so to avoid aki poison Always wait for the aki to be fully open on the tree. Wait until you see the three or four black shiny seeds staring at you like you owe their money. It is very, very important if you do not want to be poisoned by consuming ackees. I mean, that is why it is so dangerous to buy Aki on the street because you do not know if they were forced open. So, I mean, it is important that you always try and bless the food before you eat it because you just do not know the process that goes into the type of products that you buy to consume on the street. So guys, be very, very, 
vigilant if you can that is because i mean there is no way of knowing whether or not the ackees were forced open or they were open on the tree especially if you buy them already picked out of the pod now some vendors are so eager guys to make a sale that what they do is they pick this whole heap of unopened ackees slice them very neatly with a razor blade and force the opening and then sell them to unsuspecting people so i mean i can't say it enough that you need to be as vigilant as can be when buying ackees now after you remove the ackees from the tree or as some people would say pick off the Aki of a tree, you pull the pulp from the pods. So the pod, pull out the pulp, and the pulp has the seed and the flesh. This pink flesh inside of it is what I refer to as the carpet because it just spread out in the in the pulp like carpet. Very nice and neat. So it's important that you remove the seeds, no matter how small the seeds are. You need to remove the seeds because the seeds and the pink flesh are extremely toxic, guys. If you consume this, chances are it is instant death and i mean we do not want that do not want that one bit so you have to be extremely extremely careful with how you prepare your ackees and to get the flesh pink flesh out of it you need to use a very sharp pointed knife that will ensure that everything comes out because if the knife is not really pointed or sharp, then some of the pink flesh will be left inside. And if, guys, if you cook the ackee with that pink, even a tiny bit, trust me, it could be the last time we see or hear from you. So we do not want that any at all. I mean, sometimes in haste, some persons are cleaning their ackees and they leave little tiny seeds in the batch to be cooked. You put it in your pot and before you know it, guys, it's KPH there to pick you up or you might end up in the land of the unknown and you mean leave your families and friends with a heartache. And I like to remove this little part of it as well. This little dark section here that was attached to the seed. Because, guys, I ain't taking any chances. I totally love my life. No matter what it is, I still love it. And it's important that you clean the ackee as soon as you pick it from the tree because if the ackee stays out too long before cleaning it will be too soft and uh, when you cook it it will look like you're making ackee soup which is not a thing right ackee does not go into soup and you generally would have to strain the water or just drain off the water and most persons use a strainer to do with that. And if the ackee is all mushy, then everything will just slide right through the strainer. And you won't have anything to enjoy. Because you're eating your ackee, you want to ensure that you can actually feel the, the pulp, you know, in your mouth. So... 
so as soon as you pick the ackees try to i mean clean them get them in the freezer so they can stay nice and firm like gum stick yeah so yes those of you guys who have ackee trees your ackees don't have to stay on the tree and spoil sometimes i pass some Aki trees and I see the Aki's all dried up persons just leave them on the tree sometimes they fall off the tree and they spoil and the ants and other insects you know make a great feast of them but you do not have to leave your Aki's because you know our Aki is if you have an abundance opening at once if you have them opening simultaneously you know Aki is a very jealous, jealous falafashion fruit. It only wants to see one open and then everybody decide to follow. But, I mean, it's all good. It's there. If you clean them properly and freeze them, then you can have them to enjoy even during the off season. So, I mean... You can always enjoy your aki and aki is good with just about any staple just about any staple and you can cook it in a variety of ways you can add many different things to the aki you know to enjoy it and yeah it's all good guys process of cleaning the aki so when you cook it you can guarantee that you will not be poisoned. So remember guys, pamper your face with a smile, a giggle or a laugh. Life is short, so make sure you enjoy what you can of it. Um, continue to... Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and give it a like. Bye! Good morning, guys. Very beautiful day in Jamaica today. Uh, this is how you can enjoy a really nice Jamaican breakfast from your own backyard. So you do not have to go to the market or the supermarket. If you have backyard space, plant your banana suckers within nine to ten months you should have your banana ready you could pair that with aki you could add your salt fish to the aki to make it really really nice and enjoyable and to season your aki you could plant your own tomato tomato is very easy to grow it requires very little attention and it adds flavor, color, and variety to your whole meal. And if you want to get a hot beverage with that, you could have lime leaf tea. This is a lime tree. Pick the leaves, wash them, put them in the hot water. Add a little sugar if you care to, or you could just have it that way. It gives you a lot of energy. It's really, really good, and it smells good as well or if you prefer you could have some mint this mint smells extremely good you could also have that with or without a sugar so remember make use of your backyard space if you have a space backyard gardening is the best because at least you know what is in your yard and you know what is going in your system so i encourage you guys to just eat what you grow grow what you eat Make use of that backyard space if you have it. And you could enjoy a very nice, healthy Jamaican breakfast, which could go over into lunch or even dinner. So I encourage you to start your backyard gardening today, guys. You won't regret it. Yes, guys. So this is the finished product boiled green bananas aki garnished with tomato all from the small backyard garden and a nice cup of hot beverage consisting of lime leaves 
and a sprig of mint this should give you enough nutrients enough energy for a good portion of the day very healthy very nutritious jamaican breakfast all from the backyard garden